You have interfered with our affairs for the last time. Sinatra. I am literally in the air right now, wrapping up a store. This first class, I am so new at this. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Mars and or Logan, and today I am presenting you guys the best sniper class set up for every single sniper in this game. And I am so hyped. I am enjoying the game a lot right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setup. I literally spent like an hour and a half to two hours just sitting in private match on free for all just destroying bots trying to figure out the absolute best settings. I tried out a few different maps as well um, just because I wanted to test the range with everything. I wanted to get a feel for like everything and see like what is the best absolute attachments now i just want to point out that this is my personal preference so if you want to do what i do and use what i use this is what i'm going to be using um I'm, i mean i played the beta you guys saw me hit clips on that so uh if you guys want to use what i use that's totally up to you um there is a few options for every single thing by the way just so you guys know but i will give you my personal uh opinion on what i'm going to be using but first off i just want to uh let you guys know that uh i play on 17 17 uh, this is all my settings. If you guys want to look at it, I always play with disabled. Aim, curb response type, make sure to t turn that to linear uh, because that's going to make it so that instead of when you turn, it doesn't have a weird sway. This is more like the old Mono Warfare 2, Mono Warfare 3. When you turn your sniper, it just turns instantly. I said that in my beta setup video, whatever. So uh, if you guys want to do that, I play on standard for aim assist. Um, there are some settings that I think are not in the game yet, um, but they should be pretty soon. Like, I think Final Kill can play the game, you'll be able to switch on and off is what I was told. Um, so yeah, these are my settings for that. Um, you're gonna go over to the general area, and I turned down the film grain all the way, just because I personally think it looks better. Um, weapon and world motion blur, be sure to disable those. Those just need to be disabled completely. Um, and then I recommend turning your volume down, at least for me it was super loud, so I turned it down. Um, and then I just turned my hit marker sound to classic to give that old school mono warper hit marker sound. Uh, I know that's kind of a little, just, you know, don't really need all that info, but it's all right. I just wanted to let you guys know on that. So, uh, we're going to be going through the entire class setup right now that I'm going to be using all the time online. Uh, I know things will change. There's, uh, rumored to be new perks coming to the game, all that stuff. I'm pretty sure field upgrades, everything, snipers, whatever. But, you know, when those... When those games or when those things come out, we'll talk about them. But this is for the game right when releases. Uh, once I get to 55, I'm going to probably be just running UAV, personal UAV, and uh, advanced UAV. Unfortunately, right now, the mini map does not work the way that old CODs do. It's uh, whenever you call an UAV, that's the only time you can see where dots sad, but it's true. I'll probably be running tactical insertion or the deployable cover. I'm not really too sure yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, we'll see how fast the tactical insertion actually is. Um, now, so we will get into the loadouts. Uh, I just want to start off with the perks I'm going to be using. I'll be using EOD to reduce uh, Claymore and all that explosive damage because let me tell you, there's a lot of them. Uh, Ghost, I just think personally is the best thing to be using right now because, again, the whole radar thing is messed up. Um, it's just honestly the best thing you could do. There's just no way around it. Um, you could just change it up for whatever you want, but that's just what I use. And then Battle Harden just because the fact that when you get stunned, EMP, any of that stuff, it's just not a great time. It's it's terrible. So definitely rock that. All right. So we're going to be going through every single sniper. I have a bunch of class setups here. We're going to start with the Dragonov because that is the first sniper rifle. So this is what I use personally. All right. So I'm a fan of, I like using the OG sniper scopes that pretty much the scope that it gives you for every single sniper or just a regular sniper scope. Like I just like, that's what I personally like. So if you're okay with rocking another scope, go for it like if you want to i probably will here and there but for the majority of the t like being i'm going to be rocking the main scope because that's just what i like so um there's a lot of things obviously as you can tell there is a lot of attachments so that is very heavily based uh so this sniper is very weird it's a semi-automatic sniper so you can just shoot tap spray and yeah it's it's fast uh, so personally, the main thing that I noticed with this weapon, and not only that, but all of the snipers actually, there is the 10v10 maps, and when you do long range shots, you hit marker, because you cannot hit those shots without these attachments. So, everyone's going to be going to aim down and sight speed, which I get that. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two separate classes for small maps and for larger maps. Uh, personally, I think I'm mostly just going to run this though, honestly, just because even on some of the smaller maps that those long range shots, you're just going to hit marker, so it sucks. And there's so many ways to just still make it fast. Like I so said, this is my personal opinion. If you guys want to go the route, 
go everything aim down sight speed just do it everything you can aim down sight speed leave it as is um the only thing i recommend definitely is uh for the perk uh <laughs> you don't even need to run this but so i like to just mix it up and this is just what i found the best uh i like to run the long range uh scope or barrel just because again you hit marker at really far ranges uh, there is so many clip opportunities I missed because of the fact that I was just hit marking kids coming out of spawn That was really crappy uh, Laser sight is a must on every single sniper like this is amazing Like the only downside is that people can see your laser when you're walking around this thing That's literally it. That's the only thing and if you're not playing night vision and honestly I barely even notice it that much so this is de a definite must I would definitely recommend running this this in increases so many things laser sight on every single or attack laser on every single sniper um, so I went with this barrel, like I said, for the, um, Dragonov. This is the best barrel in my opinion, just so you don't get those hit markers, uh, because the damage is not super high. Uh, and then I also, at least at long ranges, and then for this, I put aim down sight speed. That's where I get my aim down sight speed up. Um, with the stock, and then, uh, for a perk, I put focus. This, so I think some snipers that are slower need focus. The ones that are faster can have sleight of hand because they have less ammo, all right? So I do focus because this perk is toughness. This is BO2 toughness right here for you guys that know what that is. This is kick on Modern Warfare 3, the gun perk. Like this is the best perk for snipers guaranteed. The only other thing I can think of that would be better is sleight of hand. Like literally, it's 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 just the move right now. Uh, so this is a this is going to be a few personal options where you can choose what you want. You don't have to if you're okay with only 10 rounds and you want to have a little bit faster speed put on uh you know take take it off and just run 10 10 magazines in your gun that's totally fine uh personally i like the few extra shots i think 15 is about perfect and it doesn't make it too slow um like i said this is where you can run a optic and you can make your aim down sight speed a bit faster do whatever you want um honestly i recommend just not dealing with any of these because none of these are really going to help you out in the long run it's just going to make your gun slower and or your range is not as good so i would stay away from that if you are like me and you just want to run the og scope then i recommend just running the under barrel oh wait wait okay never mind i guess not i do have five things on here never mind don't worry about the under barrel that's completely irrelevant uh oh if you want okay that's what i was saying so the instead of if you're okay with running 10 10 rounds then then i'd say run the under barrel that's what i would do or if you want to make the if you want to use the regular scope but also have 10 rounds and uh, I would say run under barrel but if you want to have the faster aim down sight speed then go ahead and put on an optic whatever one you want that has aim down sight speed faster totally up to you again I just like the OG scope so I'm gonna be running 15 rounds I'm okay with a little bit slower uh, now we're gonna be getting into the HDR so this sniper is actually the slowest I think in my opinion this or the car 98k I'm not sure but um, this goes back to again like I said these snipers like Pretty much all of them i tested it out their long range damage is not that great like it this gun is really powerful and you won't hit marker but it doesn't matter how far the range is like you no know, matter how strong this weapon is if you don't have something that increases the range like it's not going to it's gonna hit marker it sucks but it's, it's just what you gotta do so again personally if you're playing a smaller map go for that faster uh aim just take off the barrel completely i think is what you do um, all right, and I think there was something actually that makes it I can't remember what it was but um, I again I want the range on the weapon So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock the thing that increases the increases the range on the weapon um, And then I run the tack laser because again the, there's still the aim down sight speeds that will still no matter what It's gonna be faster than the base weapon even with that longer barrel on the sniper will still be faster because you're putting on all of These other aim down sight speeds. It's just not gonna be as fast as if you take off the long barrel. Does that make sense? So It'll just be like, it'll still be faster than the default weapon with no attachments, but it won't be as fast as if you have the sub. It kind of like evens itself out almost. So this gun is still pretty quick, uh, but not as, it's definitely the slowest sniper. I think this is going to be the trick shot sniper for sure. Uh, go with the laser sight. Um, then I'm going to go with the aim down sight speed. Obviously you got to make it as fast as you possibly can. This gun aim down is a bit slower, uh, so I put on focus and then I run the extended mags because without it, it only has five shots. So you can choose if you want seven or nine. Personally, I think nine, especially because you don't have slide hand on and focus. So I definitely recommend running extended mags and this is how I'm going to be running this. Uh, you can change it if you want to run slide of hand and deal with all the flinch. Be my guest, go for it. 
you can run lower uh, rounds in your mag, whatever. But this is personally what I'm going to be running. Uh, now we'll be getting into the AX50, which personally I think is probably going to be my favorite and the best sniper. I think at least in my opinion, this will be my, one of my favorite ones to use. Um, so uh, this gun already has pretty good range, so you actually don't need to, I think, wait, does it? Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I actually need to mix this up a little bit. I think I actually messed it up possibly. So I think it was, yeah, okay, see, that's what I did wrong. I don't know why I did that wrong. Hmm, that was that's weird. This is what I was running. I'm pretty sure right here was a damn. Uh, this right here was what I was supposed to be running. I just I might have accidentally changed it. Uh, okay, yeah. See, that's that's what I had wrong. Okay, so on this one it's a little bit different. So on this I run. Uh, this will increase your range. If you want, you can also get this one, which is a lot farther range. Uh, I think I'm going to be running the Singard Arms Pro. And then I'm going to, I do not run stock on this because it only does aim down sight speed. And the grip makes the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. So pretty much like uh, once you're done sprinting, your gun will pull up faster. So that's what I'm going to be running. That's, that's what I, I think I just messed it up on accident. Uh, this gun is a gun that I think needs focus. So definitely focus. And then extend a mag seven rounds. It's really not that bad. Uh, if you really want, again, you can put on sleight of hand. I, I just recommend focus because the flinch is ridiculous in this game. Um, and then the laser sight gets your, again, every sniper I feel like just needs a laser sight. Um, if you want, you can take off this barrel, but again, in the long range is not going to be that great. I'm actually thinking I might run this, honestly. I think I'm going to run 30, 32. I don't know. I'll probably switch it up between here and there. I think this is one of the guns I tested, though. I think this is the one that this actually increased it pretty well. So I think we're going to stick with that. Um, but if you do get hit markers at long range, just put on the bigger one. It's still, it's fine. Like I said, you got you got all the perks right here that's making the aim down sight speed faster so you're totally good okay so now we're gonna get into the mk2 carbine this is a very very weird sniper and if you guys don't know this is the marksman rifles now so this sniper there's a lot of options you have for this gun and i i i honestly like it definitely a must you need the biggest barrel possible because you will hit marker like crazy if you do not have this on at long ranges so this is a must you need to have long range on this uh so laser sight increase the aim down sight speed definitely need to do uh this one i do not run focus on this one because of the fact that there is no extended mags and you only have six shots you want to have sleight of hand so you can just cock it back right away and just you know keep reloading as fast as you can uh, this is also where you have the aim down sight speed and the sprint down sight, uh, sprint to fire speed. That's why I don't have stock on this. Um, technically, if you're okay with no scope, you can take the scope off and you can run this right here, the aim down sight speed. It, it's fast. It's fast when you run it like this and you still have the same, I don't think it messes with the range at all. Oh, it does actually mess with the range. Okay, so. Uh, I guess the range will be a little different, um, but you can choose whatever sight you want. You know, if you want one that's not a sniper scope and you can still keep a little bit faster aim down sight speed. Again, I just love the sniper scope, so that's why I run it. Um, if I were to run anything else, I don't even know what I'd run. Honestly, I, I I don't even know. Probably one of the, the like one of these type of scopes right here. But again, I just like the sniper scope, so that's just what I prefer to run. Uh, that is the best setup for that. Now this gun right here, this is the Car 98K. I this is definitely top. I think my second favorite sniper in this game. It is so nice. Uh, this is also one of the guns. Again, you need the longer barrel. Uh, you can out also do the Singard or the regular or the, the longer one. I mean, it's totally up to you. Um, personally, or oh, I mean the 25 inch. I said that wrong. 25, 25, 25. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to mess up what I'm saying. So just. Use the 25 or the 27. Those are one of the twos that I would go with for sure. Um, I, again, I just don't like hit markers at long range. It, I hate that person. I hate it. So I, I don't like that at all. Um, laser sight, again, I, every sniper needs it, man. Uh, so this is where you can choose whatever you want. Again, I just like the sniper scope. So use whatever scope you want to use. Um, if you don't want no scopes, it's actually pretty nice with iron sight. You can use iron sight. It's, it's pretty clean, honestly. I think I'm going to rock iron, iron sight. Uh, and then you can get the aim down sight speeding faster with the stock. Uh, again, with this, sprint to fire speed is going to be a lot faster and aim down sight. And this one is one that you do need sleight of hand because you have five bullets and that is it. And you need, and every time you reload, it only reloads one bullet. So sleight of hand is a must. Screw focus, sleight of hand is what you need because there is no extended mags at all. 
Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. This is kind of a long video, but hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know what I'm going to make for as a thumbnail. Probably this right here. Who knows? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Like I said, it's really personal preference. Whatever you guys want to use, just max out every sniper because all the snipers are going to be trash until you level them up and you max them out and get all the attachments you need. Test it out. See what you like. Um, I gave you the options. Like I said, stay away from muzzles. Just don't even need it at all. It's just it's pointless. Um, everything that I told you is pretty much the necessary things to make quick scoping and sniping like montages type status. You know what I mean? This is the best way to do it. All right. This is how you want to do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like. Um, yeah, hopefully we have some highlight videos and montages coming out soon. I'm loving the game so far. If you guys want to play with me, add me on Xbox. My gamer tag is Mars with two R's. I will be playing. Uh, also, if you want to add me on, uh, uh, what is it called? For the actual PlayStation PS or PC, whatever, because it's crossplay. I will put my little code on screen right now. You can add my Mars, whatever, uh, account thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Good luck to everyone grinding this game, trying to hit sniping clips, or if you just want to See what's the best sniper attachments. Good luck with your snipes, whatever it is. Hope you guys have a great day. This has been your boy Mars and or Logan, and peace out.